Most entrepreneurs waste hours reading about AI, but never actually learn how to use it. In this video, I'll give you three clear ways to learn AI fast so you can actually apply it to your business and see results. And if you're wondering, why should I bother learning AI? Here's something you should know. According to PwC, 73% of small business owners in 2023 already started experimenting with AI in at least one part of their company. That number is way higher now, so yes, your competitors are probably already trying it. The question is whether you'll learn it fast enough to keep up. If you follow these steps, you will. Step one, pick your path. The very first step is to decide why you're learning AI in the first place. There are three main paths you can take. The first is to adopt AI in your existing business. That's about using AI to make your current company more efficient and more profitable. The second is to sell AI to your industry. If you already know the pains of your niche, you can package AI solutions and offer them as services. The third is to start a new AI business from scratch. This could be consulting, productized services, or even digital products built with AI. Once you've chosen your path, write down one short sentence that explains your reason. For example, I want to use AI to cut my customer support workload. Then list three measurable outcomes. That could be reducing response time by 40%, adding $50,000 in recurring revenue, or launching two pilot projects in the next 60 days. Make these outcomes specific so you'll know if you're making progress, and then commit to this path for 90 days. Step two, follow the fastest strategy for your path. Let's walk through the first path, which is adopting AI in your current company. Start with a simple workshop, even if it's just you and your notebook, write down your goals, risks, and what success will look like. Then map out your main processes, identify the tasks that repeat every day and eat up your time. Divide them into quick wins and bigger projects. Quick wins are the tasks you can automate with existing AI tools. Bigger projects might require custom solutions and more time. Start with one or two quick wins and ship them in the first month. An online store might launch an AI triage for customer support tickets that drafts replies automatically. A small agency could route new leads to the right person without manual sorting. Once your pilot is live, track the results, then build a backlog of other AI ideas. Assign owners for each one and review progress monthly. Don't forget to create a simple policy for how you'll use AI responsibly. It doesn't need to be fancy. Just cover data security and the need for human review. And now let's look at the second path, selling AI to your industry. This is perfect if you've already built trust in a niche and know where the pain points are. You don't have to be a technical genius. Partner with developers or agencies who can build while you focus on packaging and selling. Write down five recurring pains in your industry. Maybe real estate agents struggle with responding to leads quickly. Maybe insurance brokers spend too much time generating quotes. Pair each pain with a simple AI outcome. Faster quotes round-the-clock triage, automatic summaries of long documents, then reach out to people in your network and book discovery calls. Offer small fixed-scope pilots with a clear return on investment. Deliver three successful pilots and you'll have a repeatable playbook. Turn that playbook into a productized service with a setup fee and a monthly subscription. Collect three case studies to prove your results. Those case studies are gold because they sell your offer better than any pitch you'll ever give. The third path is starting a brand new AI business. This is where the flywheel effect comes in. You learn by building, you publish what you build, and that brings in leads and clients. Start with no-code AI automation tools like Zapier or Make connected to large language models. Build one small project every week. It could be a bot that drafts client emails or a system that summarizes sales calls. Publish what you build as a tutorial, a teardown, or a case study. That content builds your authority. Don't wait years to monetize. Sell one-to-one -one consultations, then create productized services, and later launch a course or cohort if there's demand. Keep your focus tight on one narrow niche until you hit at least $10,000 a month in revenue. Then expand. The cycle works because each project gives you content. That content attracts leads. Those leads turn into paid work, and paid work forces you to get better. Step three, follow this 90-day skill roadmap. Here's a roadmap that works no matter which path you chose. In weeks one and two, focus on the basics of large language models. Learn prompting, how context windows work, and how to control costs. 
Map out 10 possible use cases in your business or niche. In weeks three and four, dive into automation. Connect tools like Zapier or Make to Your Email CRM or Help Desk. Launch your first automation, even if it's small. In weeks five and six, move into data. Build a simple retrieval system so your AI can answer questions using your documents or FAQs. Learn basic privacy rules. In weeks seven and eight, build multi-step workflows that include planning, acting, and checking. Add human review to keep outputs safe. In weeks nine and 10, turn one use case into a real pilot with success metrics and a backup plan if it fails. In the final two weeks, build your go-to-market assets. Create a landing page, an ROI calculator, and three case studies. Then close two or three paid pilots. This roadmap keeps you building and learning every two weeks. Step four, pay attention to metrics. Metrics make sure you're not just busy, but effective. If you're adopting AI in your business, track time saved per task, ticket resolution time, lead response time, cost per interaction, and error rate. If you're selling AI to your industry, track the number of warm introductions, pilot win rate, conversion from pilot to retainer, average contract value, and case studies secured. If you're starting a new AI business, track weekly content output, inbound leads, consultations booked, revenue per offer, and client satisfaction scores. Metrics don't just measure progress, they keep you honest when you feel like you're spinning your wheels. Step five, enforce guardrails and operations. Don't skip guardrails and operations. Set rules for data security and give access only to people who need it. Use human review for customer-facing outputs. Keep versions of your prompts and workflows so you can roll back if something breaks. Run a monthly review to evaluate performance and update your backlog. Think of it as your AI maintenance routine. It's not glamorous, but it saves you from disasters. Step six, structure your self-study. Some entrepreneurs still prefer a study-first approach. If that's you, structure it so you don't get lost in endless reading. Start with prompting, then learn automation, then retrieval, then agents, then evaluation, and finally deployment. Spend most of your time building, some of it documenting, and a small amount on theory. Ship a demo every week. This method takes longer to monetize, but gives you a deep technical foundation. Step seven, create simple first offers. When you're ready to sell, start with simple offers that are easy for clients to understand. One good offer is A, I support triage that routes messages and drafts replies in 30 days. Another is a lead qualifier that tags and scores prospects, updates your CRM, and drafts responses. A third is a knowledge bot that uses your internal documents to help sales or support teams answer questions faster. A fourth is an operations co-pilot that generates reports, drafts, SOPs, and creates meeting notes. These offers are quick to build, quick to explain, and easy to sell. If you want to create an AI automation business from scratch or add AI systems to your current business, check out Go High Level using the link in the description. It's the simplest, most powerful way to make money from your AI knowledge. Which path are you starting with? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.